Hi, today our project is going to be to build a float frame. Basically a float frame is where there's nothing covering the surface of the image. So the molding is actually going to just end up sitting right around the canvas. But we don't need all of this at the top here. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that off first and then we'll build our float frame. I don't know what the size of this is. I could easily measure it. but. Here's a way that it won't matter. All we'll do is take our material and put it in here and just roll it once, twice, three times, four times, and we'll have an inch or so to spare. And we'll just cut this off because we won't need the rest of it. Now I've already painted this piece of material black. Eventually we'll end up making some of it right out of the box in black. And for this project, I think we'll cut from the inside. We'll use our cutting templates. Since we're going to cut it from the inside, we'll trim off this little piece that's on the edge that's about the same thickness as the material because we won't be going through the material. We're just going to butt right up to the end. This ruler's got a piece of cork on the bottom so it, it doesn't slip. I like those a lot. We'll cut some of these templates so that we can, uh, in the proper locations. What have I got? Five of them? That should be enough. So we'll just use these as we need them. So we'll just start with the first one. Uh, we're going to cut this off first. We're going to trim that, that surface first. So this is the thickness that we need. I'm just feeling here and there's, there's a groove right there. So that's the one we'll follow. The one that sticks out just slightly beyond what we need. And I'm just going to follow that. And this material is quite nice because it makes it easy to follow a groove and make a straight cut. I'll make one more pass. My self-healing mat makes it so that we'll use that piece of material for something later on. Now we've got just enough, comes right up to the edge and that's going to be just fine. To get started cutting, doesn't matter which end I start with as long as I just follow through. And all I'm going to do is put this down and I can use scissors or a knife or both. Cut that out. Second one. Now these scissors don't get right up into the point. There we are. So that's one. Now bend it over and make my corner. We get our material. And what I should do is I should mark the corner. I should mark the corner of this because some of them aren't the same height as canvas. And the canvas is a little bit warped. You see here? If I mark it and say this is the corner I'm going to use up here all the time, I might be better off in the long run. So let's use that corner, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to mark it with, uh, put some red ink on it. That way, that way I'll always measure everything with that corner in place. And the next one, what I'll do is I'll just make a mark at the end. Put this in, right at, line it up right at the cut. I'm sure you can't see this. If I turn it around, you can. But I line that, you can see this little cut there, I line that up right at the point there and at the intersection right there. Then now I'll just get my scissors out again. This time I'll go see if I can get in that corner a little bit more. Shouldn't matter. Blade. Turn that one. Turn it back. The canvas. My red mark corner in there. And we're ready to do the next one. I'll turn this this way, you'll be able to see it. Gonna mark that. Place it right in the intersection there. Straight in, just following the line. Turn that one. Overlap it a little. Okay, a red dot. And here. Place it down. Place it right on that intersection. See it? Corner. I want it as tight as I can get in into that. Pull it out. Straight corner. Put it down. Put it there. My red mark. There we are. Just slightly off on my length, but that's going to be just fine. I still mark this one. Now this one I'm going to go a little bit further. My mark. I'm going to go a little bit further out with my mark might be a little tricky just like that and this now that I've come to the end yeah. this is going to be the back side I don't need any of this on the face so what I'm going to do is just take the scissors and cut that off cut that off there we are. 
so it butts right up. I'll just hold this together temporarily with a, with a little piece of tape. Put the molding in there and then we'll glue this a little bit later. This is a snug fit, but to get it to fit in there, you, there we are. That's the way it's going to look. And you look at it from the back. Now, as far as holding this in place, this is the second time I've tried this stapler. I don't know. Well, that one. You get the general idea. Once I glue this, I'm going to pull these staples out. I get bored with just all black. I'm going to show you how we can just put a little border around that edge and make it stand out a little bit more. But first I've got to prepare some material for the border. I want something around the edge like that and I'm, I'm going to get some graphic film to do it. But that's not the color that I want. So we'll, we'll pick this up in a bit. Okay, we're back. My joined corner is here. And I've already pulled off the tape and I'm just waiting for my glue gun to heat up. All I'm going to do is pull this back a bit and put some glue on. All I'm going to do is put some glue on here and close it up. A nice join so you can hardly tell. And I'm going to put a little bit more even down here over the join and in that spot that I took off. Now then, I don't need that any longer. I'm not touching. There we are. Now then, I had said that now I've got some little pieces of graphic film that I found. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel it. It works a lot like the striping tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it right along the edge. And I'll just go around that edge there. I should have done this before I even started, but this is okay. As long as it ends up looking the way I want. Good thing I found two pieces because this one piece is not long enough. But the way this material overlaps, you, you won't be able to tell the difference when I join it. So I'm just going to overlap that one and keep going. If I'm really good, I can overlap it and you won't even know. And I'm going to overlap this corner just a little bit. And just cut it off. needs to be squeegee down a little bit, but there you are. And when you look at it, the image will be here and it'll have this gold stripe and then it just disappears into nothing. This doesn't take very long, obviously, to do. And to me, it's a thing of beauty. 